Hello and welcome to this uh, nice flight in this beautiful evening over Nevada with its uh, amazing sights. Uh, today I'm just going to show the capabilities of the TILS system of the Vigan. Uh, so let's get to it. Uh, we're currently heading towards landing waypoint 1. So that's our primary uh, runway. And as you can see on the uh, kneeboard, uh, we're flying from zero towards Echo Bay. So our current position is around there, and there are mountains ahead of us. So what we need to do first is turn on the radar and switch it over to avoidance mode and have a look at that one. And as you can see, there's open terrain ahead of us here for quite some while, but there is terrain just before the runway. Now, uh, as we're nearing the airport, we're down to 30 kilometers from the airport, I'm going to switch uh, the navigation system to, to landing nav. And at this stage, uh, the uh, waypoint carrot on the CI still shows uh, the runway center line, but we're going to head towards this point here on the outside of the string. Uh, you do that by just following the steering commands on the uh, steering dot of the HUD or the uh, localizer on the ADI. So, do that. I'm going to engage my speed. The goal is to get to that point uh, right there at a speed of uh, 550 kilometers an hour and following the altitude g given on the reference line or the glide slope on the uh, localizer. Uh, sorry, on the ADI. And there we go. Headed towards that point. Now, sometime before we get there, uh, I'm going to turn on the uh, auto throttle. I guess I'm going to do this approach in auto throttle mode, and I'm going to keep the AOA at 12 degrees. We're gonna, not going to set it to 15. Uh, the distance indicator here still shows the center line of runway, so it doesn't show the uh, distance to the new uh, breakpoint or waypoint here on the outside of the circle. You have to judge it by looking at the um, uh, at the radar here, so I'm currently some uh, 15 out, so let's turn on the AFK mode. There we go, and slow down to 550. I'm still following the uh, localizer on the ADI. Once we get, get there, it's going to come on as a turn, and this time this time a uh, left-hand turn. Now you can't switch runway using the TILS in uh, the CS because of the way uh, the uh, system works in the game. If you do, you'll end up landing on the far end of the runway, which isn't optimal. Okay, getting out of autopilot here. I'm going to follow the guidance cues by the steering dot on the HUD. Speed is dropping to 550. And there we want it switched from LB to LF mode, and it's now giving a guidance which is far lower. Uh, now, I'm not going to follow that immediately, because I know there are mountains where we're at, and I don't want to fly into those. Uh, I can actually see them ahead of me here, just under the uh, scope, or the, the, uh, the canopy, sorry. But I am going to follow the uh, steering cues to turn. When the uh, LF mode engages, uh, the uh, altimeter switches over automatically to barometric and you cannot switch it back as you see so uh, there is no way to get your true altitude over the ground as it is at this phase the uh, HUD jumps further another good time and that's just to command us further into the turn to uh, align our ourselves with the, the uh, roughly the center line of the runway and all I'm doing here is I'm slowly descending and I'm following the steering cue. And right now, this time, the TILS system is engaged. And I now know that the steering dot is uh, guiding us towards the uh, runway. And I'm going to slowly descend here towards the given altitude. The speed is automatically going to be at 550 kilometers an hour. We're now 20 kilometers, and I will extend my gear and engage the reverser as such. And now the speed is going to drop 
to 12 degrees of alpha. So the uh, guidance fin here, the speed guidance fin, is now above the FPM marker because uh, it wants us to slow down to, to uh, roughly 300 kilometers an hour. But I'm not going to gauge the speed gauge once. That's not interesting. I'm just going to follow the uh, steering dot and make sure that uh, I don't stall. And let's lower the HUD at this time. Now the uh, localizer and glide slope on the uh, ADI are much more precise than the steering dot, but both work. Uh, you can follow either uh, with uh, pretty much uh, a good result. Good result. Uh, personally, I actually look at the uh, ADI more than I follow the steering dot because I feel that it gives me more precision over the uh, approach. But I do need to gauge the speed on the um, speed fin or AOA fin of the uh, FPM marker. And we're getting to our altitude here. There's a lot of turbulence, so the uh, aircraft is jumping all over the place. And I'm also stalling out a little bit on getting stalled warnings because of the way of the turbulence affects the uh, aircraft. I'm still a bit high, which isn't optimal, but uh, let's do that. Let's just follow the guidance cues and see where it gets us. We're getting to somewhere around 20 se seconds from the next phase, uh, or even f less. We now are in the last phase, where the uh, HUD has a new dropped horizontal line at 2.8 degrees, which puts us on the glide slope. So now it's rather important to follow the glide slope, and I need to get down on, on it. Minimus for the Vigan are 7 meters of visibility. If you don't have the runway in sight at 700 meters from it, you should abort. So let's see what happens today. Okay, the uh, glide slope is creeping up here, as seen on the ADI and also on reference lines on the HUD. I'm going to turn on the uh, Landing lights, oops, that wasn't it. That's better. And we are now on glide slope and a lot of localizer. Once you get the runway in sight visually, which I now have right there to our uh, left, I'm going to put the FPM on it and I'm going to make sure that the dropped horizontal line is actually uh, on the position or aligned on the uh, position where it won't land. I'm now going to try and stay aligned on the center line, which is hard with this crosswind here. And trying to put gauge the FPM marker so that I have it where I want to touch down. There's a lot of crosswind here, but that's fine. And pulling a little bit because we're heavy. And touch down, reversers, stick back. Oh no, come on, stick back. Slowly. And we're down safely, reversers off, throttle back. So that was a zero, near zero visibility landing in the Vigan. It's intense. It's just as intense as landing on a carrier deck, I would say. So uh, if you mastered this, you could land uh, the uh, F 18 and uh, Cat 3 as well. But. Um, the takeaways are just follow the steering dot until your visual, once you're visual, put the FPM marker where you want it. Uh, make sure you're not too steep and uh, everything is going to be alright. So thanks for watching and uh, give this video a thumbs up and spread the word and I'll see you in the future. Bye for now.